Democrats are calling for you to sign the <coughs> Medicaid expansion from the uh, COVID relief text that came out recently. Talk about your response. To that. Well, it's, it's too expensive. Uh, we would be getting federal funds to begin with, but then in just, I think, two years, and we start paying about $200 million plus a year, and it goes up and up and up, and it's just the other states that have, have been taking that are, are I, I think, have, have taken the wrong way. The, the way. the way to good health is, is good employment, good education, and what we're doing today with this the computer lab through Apple, Benedict, and USC is a great step in that direction. That's the better way. It always produces positive results, not only not bankrupting the state or bankrupting the system, but also uh, even adding to our prosperity. If you want to get vaccinated, then make an appointment and go. In some places, when they, they have some left over at the end, you can just walk in. But <clears throat> it's, it's time for all those who, who want to get a vaccination now. Now you're able to do so. And we've already vaccinated, at least with the first first shots, for some that, re, that, that require two. That's uh, Pfizer and Moderna. We've already vaccinated about 30, it's over 30 percent of the people in the state. So we are, we're making good progress, and the, the people of our state are, are very proud of the, the way everyone has behaved, the way the volunteers have volunteered, the way the private uh, pharmacies, the hospitals, and everything. This is, this is partly a government effort, but it is primarily a private sector and individual effort, and has worked very well in South Carolina. That will depend. We have, I'm not sure how many we have that are under 60. I think it's about 4.2 million. We've already vaccinated, at least with the first shot, as I say, one about 1 1.2. Uh, the, the amount of vaccinations coming into the state, the amount of, of vaccine is, is increased dramatically. You may remember that <clears throat> uh, the Trump administration ordered and paid for and pressed for 800 million doses. Uh, that not that many have been produced yet, but every month the amount goes up just as scheduled. Now we have Janssen coming in, and we, soon we hope to have others coming in. So I, I would just urge everyone who wants a vaccination, there will be a place. We have over a thousand different locations that are open now, and you can go on the, on the internet. If you can't find it, call somebody and, and ask them. But uh, we have a lot of locations in pharmacies, independent pharmacies, big pharmacies, grocery stores with pharmacies, as well as the hospitals, as well as doctors' offices, urgent care. They're all over the place. And we're getting, as was promised in the beginning, both the Trump administration and its efforts and the Biden administration and its efforts, uh, the vaccines are coming in. And we are well, we've built an infrastructure to handle it uh, using the Emergency Management Division, the National Guard, uh, DHEC, as well as the Pharmacy Association, the Retail Association, the Medical Association, uh, the uh, Hospital Association. So it is, a, it is a very cooperative, thorough, complete infrastructure that we built. And as the vaccines come in, there'll, there'll be one for everybody. Uh, I, I don't I don't know the details of that. I understand the food and water thing is about uh, uh, political parties or others uh, giving out food and water that, that the, the the management at the polls and those sort of people will be able to have plenty of food and water, those sort of things. But I don't know the details of it, but I know it's important to have an election process that, that we can depend on. And of course, we, we did well in South Carolina, I think. Uh, we, th there was an effort to remove the witness requirement on the absentee ballots, which is not a good idea. There have been presidents over the, in the past that have joined with uh, studies to say that's not a good idea. We had some election fraud years ago. I was U.S. attorney. We prosecuted a, a lot of people for buying absentee ballots. They were harvesting them. So it does exist, but, but the best thing to do is just to have a thorough process that everyone understands. It's easy to follow so that anybody who wants to vote can have an opportunity to vote. Hey, Governor, yes, sir. Some leftover year funds. Do you have any indication or thoughts on where the rest of it could go? 
We, yes, we do have some thoughts and we are thinking and they're going to go to a good place. Not at this time, you have to stay tuned, but I promise you it'll be just as exciting as this today, which is really, a, you have to, this is such a good thing today, you need to get back and look at it from a distance with USC, with all its campuses, and, and Benedict, with its uh, enormous, with its great campus here, as well as the location here in the, in the capital city, and the, the influence that that can have, that kind of partnership, and with Apple for the, the best kind of te technology, to be available very quickly to a lot of places that really need it. We're trying to get broadband all over the state. We're working with our congressional delegation, with the legislature, especially Congressman Clyburn, to see that we get we get that internet out to everybody, broadband. It's gonna take a little while to do it. It's gonna take a good bit of money, but we're gonna get it done. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.